good morning everybody today uh, we will try to size separator horizontal vertical three phase two, uh, three phase separator three phase horizontal vertical okay so previously we have discussed two phase separator two phase uh, again horizontal vertical we have discussed we have discussed about settlement okay we have discussed about particle size we have discussed about internal uh, component okay so internal component for three phase also we have discussed in, uh, internal component okay and more theoretical part we have done now we'll go towards more mathematical and we'll try to solve some problem also using uh, the formula whatever we derive or we get from uh, the lecture and this lecture is taken uh, from uh, the Arnold and Stewart book surface production operation volume 1 chapter 5 okay separated sizing for horizontal and again three phase you should not confuse get with, uh, should not get confused with two phase separator so three phase some formula will be extra some will be little bit modified okay so whenever you are talking about three phase actually fluid entry then it is creating three layers one will be gas layer oil layer and water layer oil means oil plus emulsion now when fluid liquid is falling on this uh, liquid surface so this particle diameter about 100 micron or micrometer we take okay and when water droplet so getting separated from oil uh, we assume particle diameter uh, 500 micrometer this is approximate value so if something not given sometimes we we ask a student just take some guessed value which will be feasible so if you are guessing 100 micrometer uh, liquid particle or oil particle falling that is okay and 500 micrometer or microns uh, water particle is getting separated from oil that will be okay for approximation okay but if some other data is given and uh, you may have to calculate the particle size or particle size will be given maybe it may not be 100 or 500 maybe something like 90 or 600 so in that case you have to use that given data so terminal velocity so when oil particle is falling through gas oil or water also because we are assuming higher amount of oil is there so let's calculate for water so in that case gas capacity equation whatever you calculate for two phase separator same equation will be holding here okay so <clears throat> and terminal velocity terminal velocity here when oil particle is now a water particle is falling or sliding down from oil layer so terminal velocity terminal velocity will be like stokes law because very slowly uh, oil part water particle will be coming down and will creating oil uh, water layer okay so this water particle what uh, we can say water particle relative velocity low so normally Reynolds number will be less than 1 okay so in that case the formula will be vt terminal velocity 1.78 you can remember into 10 power minus 6 del sg d m square divided by viscosity okay so when you are considering relative velocity uh, Reynolds number this is Reynolds number Reynolds number okay when Reynolds number is less than 1 or particular velocity low so in that case you can use this formula but if you have Reynolds number higher uh, in this case vt will be different okay so vt in this case you can use 0 0.0119 uh, that formula okay uh, because uh, here particle size also 100 micron and some other component i am not writing here uh, i'll see later okay so uh, vt equal 0 0.011 and here the terms will be like rho g rho l minus rho g uh, then dm by cd 
dm uh, i'll write like this dm by cd uh, i'll write clearly rho g by rho l minus rho g into cd d dm or half okay so this will be your terminal velocity when stokes law is not holding now after terminal velocity calculation you have to go to gas capacity based calculation because as in two phase separator you have seen first you calculate gas capacity uh, formula based solution then you go to liquid capacity based solution so first you will go to gas capacity based solution and gas capacity based solution it will be as same as your two phase separator so d square effective length equals 420 tzq gas p rho g rho liquid minus rho g into c d by d m so now the units are d in inch so here on catch is there d will be inch but l in feet okay uh, then t will be rank kind temperature z is compressibility factor so compressibility factor uh, qg gas flow rate qg m m s c f d gas flow rate p is psi a operating pressure so t and p is operating pressure condition and rho g gas density gas uh, density this is liquid okay and unit will be in lb per cubic feet lb per cubic feet ft okay cd is your uh, drag coefficient and dm is particle size okay again this is micrometer or micron micron c r o micron m i c r o n okay uh, so particle size uh, if you take around 100 150 so it will be okay but if you are changing particle size too much there may be some issue okay. now uh, from two phase separator you got the formula for uh, d square into leff formula okay you got the formula from two phase equation same as two phase so three phase two phase uh, doesn't matter okay so three phase or two phase you can use the formula now retention time retention time here actually you have oil plus water okay so oil will have separate uh, tension time water will have separate re retention time oil may be 5 minutes or water may be 10 minutes okay so the formula is that d square l e f f uh, equals 1.42 q w t r w plus q o t r o okay this is the formula you have to use and how to derive this formula let us say this formula is A. Okay. Uh, so, so, first you see the units. Units is internal diameter of the vessel. So, inch, this is again feet and Q water, water flow rate. Water flow rate. So, water flow rate is BPD, capital BPD, small BPD, whatever you want to write, you can write. TRW is minute, unit is minute, it is water retention time, water retention time, uh, retention time, Q oil, oil flow rate. So, this is again B, P, D and TRW again uh, this is minute, this is water reten uh, oil retention time. Okay, so you should remember the formula. So derivation. How to derive the formula? So first you have to start with T time equals volume per flow rate. Flow rate uh, you can see unit. Unit is let's say cubic 
feet give you feet for second so finally it will be second okay uh, volume this is horizontal separate this is like this okay so volume is equals half half field separator this is 50 percent this is 50 percent right so half into pi by 4 d square total circuit this volume this area okay so pi by 4 d square into effective length okay this is d uh, or capital d so unit is here d capital d is actually fit and if i write small d that will be in inch okay so we should not get confused there uh, then it will be like half pi small d square 4 small d converted into feet so it will be 144 will be coming here and effective length already in feet okay so if we simplify it it will be like 2.73 into 10 power minus 3 d square l effective length okay uh, now volume of water volume of oh, first let's say oil i am putting one symbol o o is oil so 2.73 into 10 power minus 3 d square l e f f so volume of water also same formula 2.73 2.73 into 10 power minus 3 d square l e f f okay okay one more term will be coming here so volume v o l o is the volume fraction so it will be a oil by a l l means total liquid area this is this area a l and so this area a water this area a o oil okay so here also you will get a uh, water total volume okay so this way you get your volume fraction so q o and q w in b p d uh, again somewhere i am writing small capital so small I'll write small here so it will be uniform uh, okay now q equals q o into 5.61 that unit conversion into cubic feet per barrel into day 24 hours per day and hour 3600 hour 3600 minute a uh, second is one hour so this is giving 6.49 into 10 power minus 5 uh, q oil okay so similarly you can find q water uh, 6.49 into 10 power minus 5 q water okay and a o a w a l these are in feet square okay so uh, you have to put one number uh, this is uh, volume 1 is 1 what is that 2.73 this is this is 1 and this is 2 this is 3 uh, so i'm getting okay i can put this one x1 okay so x1 uh, if i do like this x1 and uh, q values q values uh, here 3 so it will give like this t water equals volume volume of oil fraction by total volume uh, so 2.73 into 10 power minus 3 d square effective length divided by 6.49 into 10 power minus 5 q naught and a naught by a will come okay so finally this is this will bring 42 a o by a l equals t o q o by d square effective length okay 
so this is equation number 5 uh, so i have to create another slide okay now we have seen uh, the 42 a not by a l equals t what oil q oil d square effective length okay so this is equation number 4 now we can get for water also 42 a water a l equals t water q water t square effective length okay now if we add these two 4 and 5 4 plus 5 this equation if we add 42 a w plus a oil a l equals the right side also will be added t o q o plus q water t water d square effective length okay so finally this will give Uh, 42 by 60 a w plus a oil a l equals t r o q o plus t r w q w divided by d square effective length ok. So, here t r in many a uh, tr in second tro or trw in minute okay so just that's why this 60 term is coming okay. so this is your formula to calculate uh, retention time to link retention time flow rate and your percentage of uh, how much thickness is there for oil and water now a water okay now a water a oil plus a water equals a l so this will give d square effective length equals 1.4 uh, 60 divided by 42 uh, and a l is uh, this side it is going like this then it will be like t r o q o plus t r w q w okay so this will be uh, 1.42 t r o q o plus t r w q w so this is your equation So, this is equation for retention time calculation. Now, settling equation for water particle settling. Okay. Particles, water particle will be falling down and we will be assuming D diameter 500 micrometer or micron. Okay. And oil pad thickness HO maximum. Pad thickness H O equals zero point zero zero one two eight T R O del S G D M square divided by mu. So this is your oil pad thickness. Okay. Now derivation. How to derive? derivation okay so how to derive so we have to start uh, t water retention time we assume t oil retention time inside separator okay so t water equals h you have to draw this one okay uh, h oil h oil h water okay t water equals H um, oil uh, 
okay oil particle is flowing crossing this uh, water particle crossing this oil pad okay so you assume oil pad from top portion one particle is moving down to oil water layer from oil layer uh, when it is moving it is crossing h distance h o distance h o if it is in inch so inch divided by 12 will be h o divided by 12 so that much of distance is crossing and if it is having velocity v t then distance divided by v t equals retention time of water okay how much time it is taking so that much of time it should take it should be staying inside uh, water area okay and what is the vt so vt in this case will take 1.78 into 10 power minus 6 del sg uh, d uh, m square divided by mu okay we are assuming this stroke length is holding here so Reynolds number less than 1 okay so t water if we simplify this one it will come like this 46800 mu ho del sg dm square okay now uh, t are in minutes t are in minute so t o equals 60 t r o so Uh, now uh, we can see 2 and 3, 2 and 3 it can imply like this 4, 6, 8, 0, 0 mu h o del s g d m square equals 60 t r o retention time of oil ok. Uh, so h o equals 0 0.00128 T R O del S G D M square mu. So how H O oil pad thickness is linked? Like is it linked with your retention time of oil, specific gravity, particle diameter, and viscosity? Okay. This is the maximum thickness of oil pad that can still be allowing water droplet to settle out of, uh, in time. T R O uh, here. We are assuming this uh, retention type of oil and water is same. So, if we calculate for what oil, calculate retention of water, the same is the same time we are assuming for oil also. Okay. And if we assume, let's say, dm equals 500 micrometer or micron, then in that case, HO will be like this. Uh, whole equation 00128 tro del sg 500 square where mu which will be giving 0 uh, not 0 320 tro del sg divided by mu okay so if you know already particle diameter you can calculate like this or if if you if you are assuming dm for water particle size, so just assume 500 and you can solve the problem. 